All right, guys, today we're going over another problem. And before we start our problem today, I just wanna let you know that the problem we're gonna go over is actually a question that someone requested in my Discord server. So if you guys are interested in joining that Discord server and actually requesting problems that I can do for you, you guys can join the Patreon below and I will send you an invite to my Discord server. So with that being said, today we're gonna do a problem called Merge k Sorted List. So let's get into it. All right, guys, today is merge case order lists. This is one of Facebook's most commonly asked questions right now. If you guys give me about seven minutes, I will show you how to do it. Hopefully it'll be even faster than that. Uh, so the problem description says merge case sorted linked list and return it as one sorted list. Analyze and describe its complexity. So I guess I literally have no choice but to analyze the complexity now. Uh, I always mean to in my problems and I always forget to. Okay, so first thing we want to do, this problem seems really scary and I feel like it seems really difficult, but it's actually not that bad. And again, lead code has it as a hard question and I don't agree with it. I don't think it's that hard of a problem. I don't think you guys should think it's that hard. Hopefully my explanation is going to make it sound super easy, but essentially all we need to do is we're given a list of lists and each of those lists are in certain orders and we need to return that list as one sorted list. So all we really need to do is we just need to throw all of these things in a min heap, okay? So if we throw every list, every node in every list into a min heap, and then we remove it, our list is sorted. And so if we could just throw everything in a min heap and then make a new list from that heap, we're done. So let's do that. So first thing we just said is take every list, and for every list we want to throw every node into a min heap. So let's do that. So we said we need a min heap, right? So we make a priority queue. It's gonna hold integers. We're gonna call it min heap and it's equal to a new priority queue. Cool. And so now what we wanna do is we said we just wanna go through every list that we're given and then every node in each of those lists. So we're gonna say for list node head in lists. And we're gonna say while head, whoops, while head is not equal to null. So while we haven't traversed the entire current list, we're, we have things to add to our min heap. So we're gonna say min heap dot add head dot val. And then we're just gonna move head along to the next node in that list. So we're gonna say head equals head dot next. Done, that's it. So this has taken me maybe a minute so far, right? So now we've actually added every node and every list to our min queue, min heap. Sorry, that's wrong, min heap. And now what we wanna do is we just wanna construct a new list, right? And for our new list, we just wanna pull out everything from our heap and add it to our new list. So what do we do? We can make a starting node that will just be a dummy that will basically contain our real list. So we're gonna say list node dummy equals new list node. And I always just like to use a value like negative one or something so that just I know it's a dummy. I'm not really using it. It's just a placeholder. And now what we wanna do is we just wanna make our head point to our dummy. So we're gonna say list node head equals dummy. And so this is so we just have a reference to the head of that list so we can start adding things to it. And now we're gonna say, we just need to remove everything everything from the min heap and add it to this list. So we'll just say, wow, we have things in our min heap. So while our min heap is not empty, we just need to add to our dummy uh, the current value, right? We need to add to our list. So we're gonna say head.next equals new list node. And the value we're gonna pass is whatever's in our heap, right? So we're just gonna say min heap dot remove. Now, the next thing we need to do is just move our head along so that again, the next iteration, we're adding our next value in the next slot. So that's it. So we say head head equals head dot next. And now, once this loop terminates, guys, that is it. All we have to do is return the thing that's after our dummy, because again, that was just a placeholder. So we could literally just say return dummy dot next. Let's make sure that works. So that's it, guys. This works, this succeeds. I just did that in about four minutes. I hope this all made sense. If it doesn't, leave a comment and let me know and I'd be happy to explain anything. But again, this just goes to show you, Leak Code says this is hard. It's not that hard. If I could do it, you guys can do it. Good luck on all your interviews and I'll see you guys next time. I'm